Welcome back to Ride and Glide. Today is a very exciting day for us because we are reviewing a highly anticipated scooter. Let's get to it. The Apollo Go! First things first, we're gonna unbox this bad boy. We've waited a long time for the Apollo Go. Apollo have had the Air Pro out for a long time. That got discontinued and we have been waiting for its successor and it appears to be here. Firstly, let's look at the box. Very attractive, quite slim, sleek. So this is gonna be a small scooter. This is, I suppose, gonna be one of their low-powered urban range scooters. Nice big logo. You can see the scooter on there. We've got 18 plus down here, so I'm not sure why that is. There's not often violence in our, uh, in our videos, but I suppose there's always the chance of scenes of a sexual nature. We've got some of the specs here, but we're gonna go through them in detail later. But yes, like I said, all in all, very compact and very smart. Fast forward this bit if you like. <laughs> Upside down. Rewind that bit. <sighs> I'm in. Oh! Look at the packaging. I wish Toby was here, he loves a bit of packaging. I think you're supposed to open this on the flat, so I'm gonna lay it down carefully and lift this off. Now, come, come, take a look at this. All laid out nicely, like a beautiful picture. So, main scooter here, stem running up there. We've got the new handlebars there, charger, toolkit. So you get free toolkit with this one as well. Well done, Apollo. As always, we've got the inspection certificate there saying everything's been checked. Well, let's get it out and put it together. See how hard that is. Right, I've got the instructions, six screws. Have a little look at this. Oh, that even numbers them for you. Spanner, pump, valve extender, pump adapter. Probably all wrong. Oh look, all these bolts are numbered. So for everything that needs to go on, we're gonna have to look at the instructions on this one, I'm afraid. First things first, let's get the stem on. Get that locked in. Oh no, that's not in. Make sure the bottom bit's locked in. There you go. Oh wow, that's simple and it feels rock solid. Right, next, just yanking on stuff here. Carefully push down these cables. Quite often they don't come attached, so you just have to pop that connector in yourself, but on this one they have come attached. Oh no, I've turned it on by accident. Be careful of turning it on by accident. Okay, last one. And we are good to go. Warning, hold on to handlebars with both hands at all times. That's a good one actually, because I've paid the price for a one-handed ride. There she is. What do you think? Sleek, small, Futuristic, it's a narrow deck, but a long deck. Lovely rubber deck there, all the way from rear, all the way to the front. We've got all around lighting, it looks like. That is one of the easiest scooters that um, I've ever had to put together. It came basically fully done. Just had to push that in and put six screws in. Now we've unboxed this puppy, let's dive right into the specs, starting with power. Come down low with me, come down low. So. Most lightweight commuter scooters will have a single motor, 350 watt, 500 watt, something like that. Here on the Apollo Go, we have two 350 watt nominal power motors. That's 700 watts of nominal power together. You know I like dual motors for hill climbing. I do think they're better. Also, that's gonna to equate to peak power of maybe even up to 1500 watts. So that's a decent amount of power for a lightweight or relatively lightweight scooter. Those motors are supposedly gonna get you up to speeds of 27 or even 28 miles per hour. We will test that out and also get you up hills of up to 25% gradient. Again, we will test that out. Rear fender, very protective. Not gonna get any water on you or muck from that. Front fender, the similar, comes right down at the front and then over the front, keeping you clean whilst you ride. They're thinking about the commuters with this scooter. It is obvious because of the way that it's designed. So we've got the fenders giving really good coverage here. They feel very solid. Look, look at that. I can't even rattle that one. Or the front, extremely solid. Very, very low maintenance there. Tire size, nine by two. Now, obviously some people like 10, a bit bigger. They've gone for nine to keep everything a bit more compact. They are anti-puncture tires like on their other models as well. So this is a really low maintenance feature that Apollo are trying to push here. Again, we'll test that out, see how comfortable that is. But because they've gone for nine inch tires, they've also realized there still needs to be more comfort for the rider and they have added suspension front and rear. So at the front here, you can see we've got a spring under there. Then we go to the back, you see? Rear as well, 
dual rear suspension springs and a front spring. That is gonna make this a very smooth ride, especially on those harder surfaces. This is not an off-road scooter. This is designed to provide comfort for the everyday urban commuter. So we come from the suspension forward onto the deck. As I've already said, I really like this rubber mat runs from the rear, which has a handhold on it, all the way up the front. It's good for waterproofing. It's good for uh, anti-slip, but it's also really comfortable. It takes a bit more of the shock out of riding over anything hard or bumps, things like that. We've got the charger port at the front here with a spring cap on it, just to make sure you don't get any dust or any other bits in there. Inside the main body of the scooter, we have a 36 volt, 15 amp power, 21 700 cell battery, which is apparently gonna provide you with a range of up to 30 miles. Again, we will test that out. So at the moment, looking at this, it's quite a high spec scooter for a reasonably priced urban commuter. We've got the dual motors, we've got the decent range, we've got suspension front and rear. You know, you're looking at things like the Vista 8 Plus and even 9 Plus, comparatively to things like this, but this is a lot more advanced technology wise. One thing I want you to come down and have a look at is the lighting. So we set it, Apollo claim they have 360 degree lighting. So we have the rear light here. When you press the brake, which at the moment is the rear drum brake that I'm pressing. When I press the regen brake, the lights flash as well. So we've got braking lights on both sets. And what I didn't mention before, I've just talked about it there. We have a rear drum brake for added braking power, but we also have dual regen braking. So front motor and rear motor braking as well. That regenerates the back and can give you more range. So we've got the rear light here. We move around. We have the front light, as you can see. You might want to come around and have a look or I'll turn that wheel towards you a bit more. We've also got oh, up there a headlight that can be turned on and off. So that can independently be turned on and off. They can also be turned off independently in the app. We'll talk about that in a minute. Right, now I want to show you how this folds. Small clip here, press that in. We'll do it in slow-mo for the camera. Literally flick that off. That has a hook that comes in underneath. That unhooks and this whole thing comes down. But what I really wanted to show you is what happens over here. So as this clip comes down, you pull this section out with your hand. It's got a little toggle and it comes in here. You slide that through, push a button on the deck which locks it in place. And so now that is locked in place. 20 kilos, still quite heavy, but pretty easy to move around. Come in again, I wanna show you the button. So can you see this down here at the rear of the footrest? There's a button, when I press that, it releases the clip. That can be lifted back up with ease and that just pops back out again. Nice feature from Apollo. Stops, uh, you, I don't know if you've ever tried to lift a scooter and the clip's gone and you've lifted the stem and dropped the scooter. Not a good situation to be in. That is gonna make you avoid that. So a very well thought out feature from Apollo. Again, you've seen me do this already, but we put this up, lock it in place, pull that forward, locked in. Really straightforward locking system and very solid. Excellent design. I just wanna show you this crazy footrest, when it's uh, tucked in, you can barely notice it. But when it's out, it stands proud. Geometric design to go with their futuristic look. It's a big block of a footrest. Not sure if I like it or not, but it does match the scooter and it's very effective. Forgot to put that back in. So literally that has a magnet on it. Pop that back up there. So what we need to do now is come up the stem and we're gonna take a look at the handlebars and show you the display and uh, give you a bit more information on what this scooter can actually do. Come up, come up, come up, come up. You probably saw this earlier, that was the bit. When you fold the stem, that's what clips in and then folds back in, it's held in by a magnet. Nice touch. Come up to the cockpit. We have a quad lock system here. It does come with a quad lock attachment for your phone case or you can buy one yourself. So you can lock that in there, that connects to the scooter and can be your GPS system and everything else that you need. Alternatively, I'm gonna peel this off, I don't like peeling these off. We have a dot display as well. So when the scooter's moving, that's gonna give you your miles per hour, your battery life along the bottom. It's also gonna show if you're indicating, look at that, see I'm indicating right and the lights come on. That's why it's 360 lighting, rear, front, etc. Now we're gonna do that way. Do you see, it goes along that way as well. Click to turn off, really good feature. Safety features of indicators, but very clear on there. So you always know which indicator's on mode it's just going to turn the light on and off as we showed you earlier and that is going to take you into which so i've got the power button here so obviously you hold that on to power it turn it off but it will also tell you which ride mode you're in so if you click it again it's going to go to two and three mode one take you up to seven miles an hour so if you're in mode one you will only go seven miles an hour mode two will take you up to 18 miles per hour and mode three all the way up to 27 or 28 miles an hour that is the maximum speed this will go obviously your heavy rider you're going on hills, you're not gonna achieve that. But that is what this machine is capable of. We've got the thumb throttle here, which is a Gen 8 thumb throttle. So they've been through eight different designs already on all their other different scooters. And this is where they're at. So smooth, well sprung, 
At the moment it's push and go, so it's not making anything happen, but it's a very smooth design. Love the uh, throttles from Apollo. You'll see a similar one on the left-hand side. This is for the regen braking. So as we said, we've got the lever for the rear drum brake, really low maintenance rear drum brake. And then we've got this, which goes regen for both brakes. So both motors will regeneratively brake as well, electronically brake. The app, you can adjust how powerful you want the regen to be. You can also adjust how powerful you want the acceleration to be. So you can dull that down if you want a more calm ride or put it to the top if you want to go as fast as you can. Uh, and again with the regen, some people don't like the force of the regen brakes coming on. They want it gradual and a bit slower and they want to use the manual brake more. That's totally up to you. So that's completely customizable within the app, along with many other things like security features, uh, GPS tracking, all that stuff. So Apollo are excellent with their technology. Definitely download the app because uh, you'll be missing out on loads of features if you don't do that. Really comfy handle grips as always. As I've said, you've got the indicators here. Just zoom in on that one a little bit there. You see, flashing on and off. You might have seen that already. So let's just recap. Dual motors. So gonna give you up to say one and a half kilowatts of power, peak power, 700 nominal, 15 amp power battery, 21700 cells. So you've got a really decent range. Dual suspension front and rear. You've got all that app functionality. Indicators, front lights, stem lights, brake lights. This is a high-tech scooter in a very small package, but all of that narrow, weighing, you can see my foot there, you know, big foot, so size 11, but even so, it's a very compact scooter. This is for the professional or someone who's just wants a lightweight, but high-spec scooter. As I say again, 20 kilos or 20.5 kilos to lift up, so very manageable, very sleek design packed with features. Let's take it out and see if Apollo's claims are true. Right, we're ready to hit the road. Or not. <laughs> <laughs>